Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's Saturday morning, I've just been sort of chilling really, uh, but I have got to pack some orders. I love packing on sort of like Saturday, Sunday and getting them out first thing on a Monday because I feel like it clears things for the week. I'm on a three day dispatch so it gives me, you know, a good amount of time uh, at the start of the week to, to concentrate on work. So I've got, I think I've got 17 orders, so I'm just going to grab them. I won't film me packing them, but I'll show you what I've got and then I'll show you what they look like after they're packed and um, yeah, take you through them. Okay, the first item is this uh, kind of retro phone directory thing. It has been used, one page had been used, um, but all the others were blank. Um, I would have picked this up for 50p. I, I have sold some of these before, totally unused. Tops is probably about seven or eight quid. This sold for a fiver just because I think I decreased the price. Uh, so I'm just going to sort of wrap it in a bit of nice sort of light paper. I'm going to put it in cardboard and then I'll, I'll use this bubble mailer. I get the A4 bubble mailers, but sometimes I cut them down. So I have lots of sort of like half uh, mailers, um, but an easy one to pack. Well, that was really easy. Um, I always write on what it is and the weight on. Um, if you ever see those telephone directories and they have like the old style uh, dial on the front they're really good, worth watching out for um the next one i've got is something that was listed not too long ago a lot of this stuff um is recently listed and i did do a video on um how much of the stuff that you sell will be stuff that you've recently listed so it is well worth um looking at maybe relisting things that don't sell and revising them um i'll put a link into that um, this next one is um, off something that was broken, but I split it up for parts. It was a radio control Dalek. Um, this sold for six ninety nine free post, but the guy also bought one of these, which was nine ninety nine and maybe one ninety nine postage. And I think I knocked a couple of quid off because they are being sent together. So I will save on the postage. Um, it was a bit weird. I don't often do free post, but there was free post on this one. Um, but seeing as they're going together, yeah, a couple of quid was knocked off. Um, so, yeah, that's really easy. Uh, again, it's a cut-down poly mailer, and um, I'll wrap it in um, probably a bit of light, light paper, and then um, I may do it in bubble wrap as well. There we go. That will go large lesser. Didn't take any time at all. And next up, we've got a Panasonic charger. I was going through all of my old Panasonic, uh, well, camcorders the other day, and I've chucked a load out because they weren't working. Um, they weren't worth selling as parts because they were uh, VHSC compact cameras. Um, but I did take out any power um, adapters, chargers, and this one I sold with the remote control um, as well as a, a nice little extra in there. And um, yeah, it's good to have this connector that attaches to the camera. So that is actually sold for twenty four ninety nine, which is. Um, not bad really, I would have picked up these cameras for a fiver each I think, um, so a fiver to 25, uh, if the camera had been working maybe you know, it might have been 50, 60 quid, but still good price for the uh, for the charger. So all I've done with that is I've wrapped the main uh, unit in bubble wrap, that's the plug and the lead, um, I've put the, the actual three pin plug in just to wrap a newspaper just to prevent it from piercing everything and that's the remote control. I'm going to put the whole lot in a bubble mailer. Job done. Got another easy one. This is good, actually. I, I have got some more difficult ones coming up, but um, it's just some new Lego. I bought a whole load of these um, at a boot fair. I think they're about 50p each for these bags. Um, that's sold for 9 49 plus 3 postage. Um, I think it's going to go parcel. It, it, if, it, if it was all flat, it probably could go large letter, but... Um, all I'm going to do, pop it in there. I'm not going to wrap it in anything, I don't think, because it's just in a bag. And uh, it will go in there and be sealed up. So, yeah, another easy one. More difficult ones uh, in a bit. Yeah, just checking this package on the um, on the guide, the mailing guide. And um, it probably could go through, but normally I sort of say it's got to go through freely. And there's a risk of the bricks moving around and making it bigger than it is. So... Um, the guy paid three seventy nine, so I will send that small parcel. Um, it's fifty grams, but yeah, it'll be three quid to post it. Um, but yeah, now I've done four. Um, I'm going to print off the labels because I'm still a bit old school and uh, use a laser printer. I've got a sheet of A4 labels, 
um, that I print four labels off at a time. Um, I maybe should get a, um, what are they called? Those uh, heat printers, I, f I forget, zebra printers. I was thinking they were called penguin printers for a minute, but um, yeah, I haven't got that yet. Maybe that's one for this year that I'll do. And you may have heard in that last clip, a great big bell going off, and that means it's time for my lunch. So um, I'm going to have a cheese and onion pasty and then come back and do the rest of this packing. So um, I'll see you after lunch. Okay, next we've got this um, blood pressure monitor. I always tend to pick these up if I can pick them up cheap, you know, a couple of quid. That's all for um, 15 99 with postage on top. Um, I'll just put a cardboard sleeve around that. The, the box is okay. I probably could send it in that, just that box, but it's it's that thinnish cardboard. So I'll just, you know, cut a rectangle and do a sleeve of that. And then I've got to send these off. Again, this was only listed last week and these were listed last week. So I cannot stress the importance of, you know, stuff sells that you've listed recently. So if stuff isn't selling, think about resell uh, relisting it. Um, this sold for $13.99, and that's going to one buyer. And these two, these are Amiibos, um, which have just been kicking around in my garage for ages. These two sold for $14.99 each. Um, going, um, both of those are plus um, postage, um, and that's going to the same buyer. Um, I will bubble wrap these and put them in a poly mailer. I might think about putting a, like a you know maybe a paper wrap around it um not a cardboard but a paper wrap so bubble wrap with a bit of added paper um but yeah again pretty easy to pack right next up is a bit of a bit of a tricky one i guess um it's a sylvanian family's vintage old mill um windmill and um thankfully it does sort of dismantle a, a little bit but still needs quite a big box and um I'm probably going to, I will probably bubble wrap this and float it in the box with sort of newspaper around it. Um, I may well sort of pack these together, but make sure that they've got like a paper layer of cushioning in between each one and then do the whole lot in bubble wrap and sort of maybe do sort of maybe three, four bundles of, of bits. Um, but yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time to pack. So I'll show you when it's done. Right, that's the Sylvanian windmill done. Um, it was quite difficult to pack, but I've wrapped um, the couple of bits in bubble wrap there and the kind of platform bits I put in newspaper and then in bubble wrap. So it ended up with about five different sort of bundles, a lot of bubble wrap used. Um, there's a bed of newspaper in the bottom and I'm just going to avoid fill this with newspaper, get it between each package. Um, using a double wall box as well so th this is why I don't like Sylvanian families actually it's a £35 sale and it's a complete pain in the bum to pack got this Polaroid camera next which uh, I got off Lee what I'm going to do is just put a cardboard sleeve round this way um, just because that's kind of where the weakness is and um, on the two sides that will not be covered by the cardboard um, it's got the polystyrene inside, which is a really good protection layer. Um, so yeah, just going to do that and then I'll wrap it in brown paper. Uh, this actually sold for 25, which is um, more than I thought it would go for. Uh, I did say the other day in the video, it's because it had um, this film with it, I think. And I've sold three other things out of Lee's bundle, so a total of four things have been sold. I'll be packing those in a minute. Okay, ploughing on. I'll show you that last one I did. There we go, that is the um, Polaroid. It's got to go Hermes, unfortunately. Um, it, it's just over 16 centimetres wide. But I think it is cheaper because it will be under 1k. Um, so now I'm packing these, which are, um, it's a quad set. So it's four handsets. It's a BT Aura, um, which is actually the landline we've got. Very good phone. Um, so I'm probably going to wrap each handset individually in like paper and then bubble wrap it. Uh, probably do the same with the base units and the plugs and it'll all go in this box which will be a small parcel which would be nice I think it was a £60 sale that very nice uh, phone um, I, pick, I used to pick up phones quite a lot now I try to pick up only kind of, kind of nice looking ones or will do when I'm at boot fairs um, but yeah always a, always a good seller so uh, worth looking out for there we go, that's all fitted very nicely. I will put some newspaper around 
and about just to sort of avoid fill it but um that's another one done the uh phone sold for 69.99 by the way so yeah good seller um next is more sylvanians uh so it's a bus with some bits and it's going to go in a wine box because it fits perfectly so i'm going to cut down this wine box and um it'll be a small parcel bubble wrap around that newspaper if it needs it for void fill quite an easy packing one that one hope you're not getting too bored with the haul i'm sort of like getting a bit like oh, with it at the moment but i've got i've sold another four things as well um do tell me what you like to see on the channel um i know people like hauls but um obviously not sourcing too much at the moment i have got a clothing haul um so let me know if you want to see that uh although i'm a bit wary of doing that because there's been so many going on at the moment so i might might keep that to myself um but if you're desperate to see that let me know and i'll do a video on that this is a harry potter monster notebook so um i've done a few of these before it's a bit of ra that's coming to the end but it will just be cardboard around it in kind of like both directions and then stuck in a poly mailer Right, we're on to a biggie. Um, this is one of um, Lee's items, and um, he put a note on that saying um, he tested the VCR. Um, so, so I actually listed it. I trusted him, actually. Didn't think it would sell. Um, I did check the remote control because he said he hadn't tested that, so I just did the old trick where you point it point it to a camera and you get like a purple light and test each button. Um, so I put it on thinking, oh, that, that won't sell too quick, and uh, it's gone and sold straight away. So I've tested it myself this morning. I've been um, watching a bit of Pokemon. Um, yeah, it does work fine. Um, so it'll be bubble wrap, big bubble wrap, um, single sheet cardboard, single um, layer cardboard round it, and then I'm, hopefully we'll find a double, double wall box for it, um, and I might have to cut it down. And then I'll void fill it you know, with um, newspaper around it. But uh, that's how I pack videos. Right, there we go. Um, it's fitted really well. I don't know whether I put, might put a little bit of newspaper down the sides. Um, that's the plug. Um, the pins um, wrapped in newspaper. Uh, and that's the remote and the scart. Um, normally I do them all on one level, but it's just this box was around and um i placed them on top these airbags are, i don't buy airbags it's just sort of like left over from um stuff i bought so uh, yeah that's a well-fitting box that is got a beetles golden oldies next which i don't do a lot of media really um i picked this up just because it was beetles uh it sold for 6.99 would have picked it up for like you know 50p 20p something like that um so yeah i might get into a bit more um media um i don't do enough of it really got some um clothing next uh some women's clothing that has been on the store for ages um i've got two of these big kind of vats of clothing i need to probably get some more because i've just ordered a load of clothing um but this is an lv top um <clears throat> when i list them i fold them put them in a bag for storage and then when they sell i'll wrap them in some light paper and stick them in a poly and that's job done well, since starting the video, I've sold about another 10 things, so it means this video might be dragging on a little bit. So apologies for that. Um, if you can stick with it, I've probably got about 10 more items to go, and I'll try and whiz through them. Okay, here's the rest of the stuff. I'm getting a bit bored with doing the video, and you're probably getting a bit bored with watching it. So I'm just going to take you through the rest of it. Scruples sold for $8.99. I will brown paper that. Uh, the Muddy Fox shoes went for $24.99. I will bubble wrap those and stick them in a poly. Same with the Adidas um, running shoes. They were $19.99. Um, all of these are plus postage at $3.79, uh, unless I say otherwise. Um, the video camera, which is a Sony, uh, uh, that after a reprice, that went for $39.99. And I've got another Canon one here, which is this unit only, no charge or anything. Went for $14.99. Um, this little Corgi Bon car, that went for $3.99. Not a good buy. I've sold another ear, another Dalek ear, um, $9.99. All of those bubble wrapped, probably the camcorders in a box, probably these just in a bubble mailer. Um, sold Bowser, he had a bit of a dodgy hand on him. 
but he went for 11.99 again with 379 postage i sold another one of these um charger adapters which i've been doing this week and that went for um i'll have to look that one up i can't remember oh here we go uh 12.99 is it a VNAS12? Yes, I think it is. So that went for that. And the Panasonic went for 39.99. That was a good sale, that one. Um, so yeah, all um all goodbyes. The thing to note, I think, is um all of these, apart from the Corgi car and the scruples, were listed either listed this week or had a reprice this week. Oh, I did sell this as well. That's gone for 20 quid free postage. That again wasn't listed this week, but like so many of these items have been listed this week and I can't stress enough the importance of um, new listing bounce. It really does show it here when you see so many items are recently listed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's certainly been busy packing all that stuff, but it's, I think it just goes to show that, you know, um, sales are created by listing, new listings and looking at your old listings and maybe rejigging them about. So um, never a moment to sort of stay still really on eBay. Um, I'll be listing some things tomorrow at 11 o'clock for my List 5 Live and you've got to keep the ball rolling. I um, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, click the old thumbs up, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and hopefully see you soon. Take care. See you later.